Welcome to the Vyond Podcast. Today we're doing a deep dive into something really cool, a brand new dinosaur species found in northern Mexico. That's right. And this one's pretty special, about 73 million years old. It gives us some uh, really unique insights. Okay, so I heard the first piece they found was actually just the tail back in 2013. Oh, exactly, yeah, just the tail initially. But that led them to dig further, and, well, they eventually uncovered about 80% of the skull. 80%, wow. Yeah, at a huge crest, like 1.32 meters long, plus a femur, shoulder bones, quite a lot, really. So all those pieces together, that's what told them it was something new this year. Precisely. That collection of finds allowed researchers to identify it as a distinct species, Tilatula fiscalorum. The preservation sounds incredible for something that old. How did that happen? Any ideas? Well, the thinking is it probably died in water, like a lagoon or estuary, something with lots of fine sediment. Ah, So it got cool. buried really quickly, that rapid burial, you know, protected it really well over the millions of years, kept it almost intact. Makes sense, especially in what they say was a tropical area back then. Exactly. Warm, wet. Lots of sediment washing around. Perfect conditions, really, for fossilization. Let's talk about the name Tolatolophis galorum. It's uh, quite evocative. What's the story there? It is, isn't it? It's a mix. Tolatolophis combines latoli. That's a word from Nohatl, the Aztec language, meaning word or statement. Word. And lophis, which is just Greek for crest. So it's sort of like word crest. Word crest. That sounds deliberate. Does the crest itself look like anything significant? It does, actually. The researchers pointed out its shape is really similar to a symbol used in ancient Mesoamerican manuscripts. What kind of symbol? A symbol that represented communication, knowledge, the spoken word. It's quite a connection, isn't it? That really is fascinating. So are they suggesting this dinosaur could communicate? using the crest somehow? That's definitely on the table. Mm. Paleontologists looked at its ear structure and think it could likely hear low frequency sounds pretty well. Low frequency? Like rumbles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which suggests they might have been, well, talkative dinosaurs using those low sounds. Maybe the crest helped produce or amplify them. So they could make sounds too, not just hear them. That's the hypothesis. Yeah. That Pleiotolophus galorum might have emitted strong sounds. You know, maybe to warn off predators or perhaps attract mates, standard animal communication stuff, but uh, with dinosaurs. Right. And this isn't just speculation. This research is published. Oh, yes. It's out there in the journal Cretaceous Research for other scientists to look at and build on. For paleontology in Mexico, finding something this complete must be a, well, a really big deal. Absolutely. The National Institute of Anthropology and History, INAH, they called it an exceptional case. Just because the preservation is so good, thanks to those specific conditions way back when. It paints such a vivid picture, doesn't it? This large herbivore may be making rumbling sounds with this prominent word crest. It really does. It connects the physical form to potential behavior in a really intriguing way. The name and the fossil together tell a great story. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Well, that's all we have time for on this deep dive. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come right here on the Vion Podcast.